Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCB Aero Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbarolabs.org. In this video, we will learn how to create a Python GUI to display the real-time serial port data coming from any embedded device or any other system uh, uh, like Arduino or some other microcontrollers. Okay. We also provide online training, help in technical assignments. We also do freelance projects based on data science, Python, machine learning, uh, MATLAB, etc. So if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by contact contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrolabs.org. You can also mail us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com. So let's start. So here uh, I will show you. Uh, we have this uh, uh, hardware, uh, which uh, uh, this is Arduino hardware. The code is written like that. Uh, like that, it is continuously sending the voltage of this potentiometer uh, to serial port of the computer. So we will write a program to display that particular uh, data on Python GUI. So let's come back to the original one. Okay. Now let's open Spider. So we are using Spider in order to write the code. We create a new project file and first let's save it. So let's save it with um, uh, real time plot GUI. So in our last video, I think we talked about uh, uh, how to plot uh, real-time serial data uh, on a Python plot. So in this, we will move forward with the help uh, with GUI. So in order to save a little time, we will be, instead of writing the code, we will be copying pasted from our previous version code and we'll be explaining this. Right? And some of the part we'll write. So first of all, uh, as far as import is concerned, so we will import. Uh, Matplotlib provide a special package for, uh, in order to support plotting on a, uh, plotting on uh, a GUI. So you can access that one like backends TKAGG. So in this, uh, in this, uh, I should say module. Uh, there is a figure canvas TKGG which provides support for displaying the data on a GUI. Okay, so we'll we have written all the files and then uh, we are using tkinter because it is a Python GUI ID. So we will be using uh, creating GUI using tk and then numpy and then serial <coughs> module is used to uh, communicate with the serial port. Okay. So now let's write the code for main GUI. So first of all, we need to create the object. So tk equals to, I should say root equals to tk dot tk, right? So it will create a root object and I can say, okay, run it, no error. And then, I should say root dot title. So I can say a real time plot and then root dot configure. And there's a like how what should be the size uh, of the this GUI. So that can be <coughs> use these two parameters like geometry and the background. So uh, in root dot configuration, we are uh, making the background as blue and we are making geometry 900 by 600 pixels. Okay, so let's make it to um, uh, 500. Okay, now uh, in order to run the GUI, there is a command root dot main loop. So actually what is happening, this uh, GUI is like a loop itself. Okay, so when we run it, our, cont our main loop keeps on running, which uh, displays all the widgets on this GUI, like buttons and etc. Et 
so let's test it let's run this one okay here it is so this window is opened up GUI now we'll populate this particular window with the help of uh, plots and all those things okay so y axis should be okay. let's close this so we can make it to uh, 700 to 500 fine <coughs> now we will cre create a figure object create a plot object on GUI okay. so for that uh, first of all what we'll do uh, we'll create uh, this figure object so and then the canvas we'll create a canvas to plot the data so actually how it is working uh, first of all we create a figure object fig and then we created the axis for subplot we set its title I should say uh, <coughs> title is uh, serial as uh, serial data and the next label is sample and y label because we are displaying the voltage okay now then we are limiting x limit under y100 because we are targeting to display only the 100 elements so it should be a moving plot kind of thing and then we have limit uh, y axis because uh, voltage will be varying from 0 to 5 volt only so let's make it to minus 0 0.5 to 5 so that we have a visualization of 0 as well and most important thing because we are interested to display a running plot that means we are changing the lines within that plot so there are two ways like we clear the previous plot and then create a new one so in that case whatever we have written that goes off and it looks kind of like uh, a window is updating itself continuously we don't want that kind of plot we want a plot to be static that means access to be static and only the lines within the plot should be varying so that is why we got this lines object from the plot which can access this so it gives a, a array in which uh, we can set x data and the y data continuously now we have created the canvas so figure canvas tkagg so for corresponding figure and with the master obviously the root because we want to display it on uh, on the root window and then we created it place and then we created the graph so these are the commands to display the graph on GUI so let's run it and see how it looks like so yeah so a plot window has appeared upon this GUI now the next task is to create uh, two buttons so we'll be creating two buttons when we push the start button so uh, plot should start up and when should uh, press close button so the uh, plot should close okay let's close it and uh, now we'll create buttons so because we want to create two buttons so <coughs> uh, we will be using TK uh, tincter widgets of button uh, right and then okay so we have these two buttons so root dot update is to update the whatever we have put uh, previously then start so we have created tk dot button what is saying undefined function okay tk dot button and then start function so it is creating uh, because we want a function to be uh, plotted as soon as we press this start so we have created a function uh, plot start okay so and uh, we will uh, use this value afterwards first of all let's talk about only this one and then we have placed it at this value x is 100 and y equals to 500 so our total size of the is 700 
and figure size is 600 so we can make it to 500 and then this uh, width this is the width and height so height could be okay and uh, width could uh, can remain 600 uh, 600 okay that 500 and height is 400 that's it similarly x is horizontal values and y is vertical that's fine and here so we are putting this stop button with respect to this uh, start button so there are two value uh, two functions which uh, get the particular object uh, x value and its width so this start that is the this button info and then w info underscore x so this gives the uh, x position location and then w info required width it gives the uh, it gives the uh, uh, its width its object width and then we are adding plus 20 there and we are adding plus 20 there and at the location y okay so uh, now we want a particular function to be uh, uh, executed as soon as we press this start button so information of that uh, function is uh, created here uh, we have created this lambda function otherwise this function run as soon as we start it uh, and then another lambda function of stop but uh, to stop the plot is being created here okay so this uh, command will give uh, desired result when we update the uh, GUI otherwise sometimes they create a absurd result okay so this is about uh, placing the button now we will start this uh, serial port because as soon as this window should start so it should open a serial port so that can be opened here like s equals to sr dot serial and here we have to provide the com port so our arduino is connected to com 8 and baud rate is 115200 right let's have a look okay it's fine and then we create okay all the flush whatever input data garbage input data is that should flush out so this is all about gui which we have created so let's run it once if it doesn't throw an error yeah because we have not defined the function so it may be due to that let's close it okay there was no error but it didn't display the buttons yeah comet access is denied before yeah, one more thing if you run it and if you have not uh, closed the serial port properly so in uh, spider uh, uh, the variables are created here so if you run it again it may uh, throw this error like uh, com port access is denied because it is already open so one suggestion is you clear all the variables prior to running the window again okay so let's run it I think these values are not being displayed the buttons their locations maybe somewhere uh, they are misplaced so let's check it let's close this one and clear all the variables uh, it's 700 by 500 okay its width is 500 and height is 400 okay y value i am putting at 500 okay i don't think it should be 100 only no 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 y axis should be 6 and 500 should work and these are not overlapping anything is not overlapping x is let's say i make it 50 okay they are coming over here hmm.
yeah it is only 500 so I can't make it to 600 it should be 400 400 and then okay let's clear this one okay yeah they are just appearing at the end of this port because its height is also 400 so I should say 450 so sometime it becomes uh, a little confusing so let's clear it otherwise it will throw an error so let's run it okay so we have now two buttons start and stop okay now we can move forward with writing our code so <coughs> first of all uh, uh, we will create a function which will be uh, executing <coughs> now there are problem in our last video we talked about uh, using a while loop and then it keeps on plotting but there's a problem with this uh, GUI if we use an infinite loop or a loop there so what happens it freezes the window okay and only that loops keeps on running and nothing else no other buttons uh, works and nothing else works so there is a uh, option to it root dot after so what happens uh, if we create a function and when we can execute that particular function at a regular interval of time with the help of dot after command so that's what we are going to do here so first of all uh, we will create a function def plot sig or i should say plot data and it is taking nothing and then uh, uh, we will create uh, some variables global like uh, condition okay so why condition because if condition is true we will be plotting uh, which we can uh, make it true at the start of a start button and the condition is false which will make it at the pressing of the stop button so that we can have a, a variation on a start and plot will I start showing the data on a stop plot will stop it okay so I will write if uh, condition is equals to, equals to true then it should plot it so plot it means first of all we get the data a equals to as dot serial read okay so let's get this one So here what we are doing we are first reading the data serial data and then we are decoding it because as we said we want to display only uh, the hundred values of the data okay now we have, here we are manipulating the data so we need to create a global data as well so let's make it data equals to np dot array we are creating an empty array at the starting and then we are creating a condition equals to false as well at the starting okay so now let's have a let's understand it this one so if condition is true it will read the serial port it will decode it and then it will append the data in it and uh, till the length is less than 100 and when data length is greater than 100 we are shifting the next 100 values to the previous 99 values and on the 100th location we are putting the current serial read data value so this is how we can shift our entire plot to the backwards so that is a very uh, easy trick so because everything is a kind of array so we are simply like shifting the arrays and then we are updating the data this is important uh, why this is important because uh, we are as we said we only want to change okay it is saying local variable data here we have to define data as well global now I think yeah, everything is in condition is also variable so lines dot uh, we are changing x data values because the x axis should be their equal number of samples should be there in x and y so x data should be equals to we are generating x axis from this one 
and then we are putting all the data on the y axis that's what we are doing here okay now uh, we will now we will create two other function which we have created for these buttons like plot start and plot stop so we will create here def plot start so in this plot start uh, we will access global condition and then we will make condition equals to true because only then a plot will start and what we will also do as soon as we will start the condition we will uh, if there is some garbage data is there at the serial port we will also flush it okay and then we will make it plot stop so again global condition and we'll make condition is equal to false that's it i hope that's fine and i said <coughs> okay there's no use of this time i said uh, we will be using another one because we are not using while loop uh, while loops keeps on uh, changing the things so what we'll do there's a condition root drop after so after one each millisecond so uh, but and then this shows the milliseconds the interval time and next is the function which function we want to plot so we want to execute this plot data at regular interval of time so plot underscore data right so what will happen this will keep on running and after one millisecond it will keep on executing this particular uh, particular function uh, and once it is inside this function uh, it has to run continuously otherwise whatever will happen uh, it will remain there so we have to write the function here as well okay so root dot after goes that function will execute once and then one comma so we want to plot this function again okay so it seems fine let's create all previous variable is if there is any and let's test it okay so there is no error everything looks fine and let's start it okay data is coming let's stop it it's stopped let's start it yeah it's working it's working fine let's stop it okay so let's have a uh, window of the hardware as well so here is our hardware let's start let's stop so uh, i will continuously start and uh, now let's see uh, what happens if i change the potentiometer so what should change across it so it is a kind of real time plotting so here yeah so it's changing i am changing the value yes if goes uh, this uh, hardware is sending data at an interval of 100 millisecond that is sufficient okay so this is how we can display any real time sensor or any real time hardware to display the data on Python <coughs> isn't it cool so I hope you liked it and yeah it, it is very satisfying so you can try it at your end as well so I hope you understand a lot uh, from this video so if you have any doubt or any question you can let us know by commenting below this video okay and further we also provide online training help in technical assignments we also do freelance project based on data science python machine learning embedded system matlab etc so if you have any such requirement then you can let us know by contacting us through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com so that's it for this video. Thank you.